Welcome to Emmy Knows, the Monday afternoon KU radio show that interviews campus people of interest. And now, your host, Emma Line, here on the radio voice of Kutztown University, KUR. You're listening to the radio voice of Kutztown University, KUR. My name is Emma Line, and this is Emmy Knows, a weekly get to know you featuring the people who help make KU great. In the studio with me today is Corinne Calderbach. She's a communication studies major and president of ACT, Actors Creating Theater. Thank you so much for being with me today, Corinne. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I am so excited to have the opportunity to talk with you. Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier that I realized we're actually in the same class <laughs> together, and I didn't even know. Um, we're in the PR, the PR agency in Old Main, and I really love that space, but I feel like it makes it hard to learn other people's names in the class I don't know if you feel that same way yeah I sit up against like the wall and like uh -huh. I just look out the window the whole time <laughs> so besides like the people on like either side it's like really hard to get to know each other yeah totally I saw you hanging posters about rumors which is Axe upcoming show last week and I, I like you know like I was saying I stalked you on LinkedIn a little <laughs> bit and I was like wait I know that girl I totally just saw her posting um posters and stuff so but before we get into the details of rumors, I'd love to touch on how you got involved in ACT and why people should join the club. Uh, so what is ACT? And is club the correct word for it? Yes, ACT is a club. It stands for Actors Creating Theater. Mm -hmm. um, we are a student-run theater organization on campus. Uh, yeah, so basically we have an e-board and the e-board does everything from like picking the shows and picking directors. And yeah. I got involved with ACT just because I was looking to do theater. I did theater since like third grade. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to keep going and then I found ACT and it was like one of the best things that happened to me while I was at KU. That's awesome. So I know there's weekly meetings on Monday nights, correct? Yes. So what sort of things happen at the meetings? Oh, a lot of things. We do like <laughs> something, we try to do something different every week. Okay. Uh, tonight, we are actually doing like a game night where like you could bring board games or card games or even video games. Mm -hmm. We also do an open mic night once a month. Okay. And we just had our first one last week and then now we're going to have a Halloween one. Ooh, and spooky. Yeah, yeah. And we decorate like the alumni auditorium. Mm -hmm. so now, now where is that? Uh, the alumni auditorium is downstairs in the MSU. Okay. So if you go down the steps by like Cub and then you make a left and you just go all the way back, that's where it'll be. Okay. So that's where the movies are shown. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. The free movies. Cool. So, um, like you, you were saying that you joined because you'd been doing theater, uh, since third grade. So how long have you been involved with ACT specifically? This is my fourth year in ACT. This is my third year on the e-board and the second year as president. Wow. Okay. So what does your position as president entail? Uh, a lot. <laughs> what doesn't it entail? No. Um, I basically just make sure that, like, everything is running smoothly. I mainly handle, like, reservations. So, like, to make sure we always have reservation for, like, our meetings mm -hmm. and our rehearsals and auditions. And then just small details just to make sure that we're always a well-oiled machine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so how did you get your position as president? Um, so at the end, of, well, yeah, like at the end of the spring semester, we hold elections mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so we held elections and then uh -huh. I won that. But you have to be on the e-board for one year before you can obtain, pre ob obtain presidency. Uh -huh. So before that, I was the public relations officer. Okay. And you told me before you have like 45 different minors. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a comm major and then... Is PR one of your minors? Yeah, PR is okay. one of my minors. Okay, that's very cool. And what did you do as like PR chair of ACT? Um, I made promo videos. Okay. I posted on all the social media. So we have like an Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, mm -hmm. and Facebook. I okay. think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. um, I ran those and then I hung up posters. I mean, everyone hangs up posters, but like mm -hmm. that was, that's mainly like PR's job to like make sure that everything's like facilitated like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what that's. That's, yeah, that's awesome. What <laughs> so besides like being the president, like forgetting about the structured things you have to do for the club, what is like your favorite thing about being in the club? My friends. Okay. I love being with my friends all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, so would you say that like the club is like a family? Like is it a theater family? Do you have random people coming all the time? Or is it sort of like one close-knit group? 
I would say it's kind of like a mix. Like we definitely have like a core group of people that are at every meeting, audition for every show, mm -hmm. and they're like are, are always supportive. But we do have those new members that come in like sporadically. But I feel I like to think that even when they do come in sporadically, they do feel included. Mm -hmm. At least I hope they do. That's awesome. So you're here because this weekend act is presenting Neil Simon's rumors. Yes. So what can you tell me about the show? Um, it's very funny. It's a it's okay. a farce, which is like an extreme comedy. Okay. So the premise of the show is it's these two people, Charlie and Myra's Charlie and Myra Brock's tenth wedding anniversary mm -hmm. and when the first guests arrive, neither one of them are to be found. Ooh. So then the whole show is, like, trying to figure out what went wrong. And then it's just, I like to describe it as just total chaos. Okay. Yeah. And who do you play in I this production? I play Cookie. Yes, that is her n real name, Cookie Cusack. <laughs> okay. Um, she is this crazy chef who has chronic back spasms <laughs> and is just ditzy and like yelling and just screaming the whole time she's so much fun i love her that's awesome yeah <laughs> and so what kind of like audience would enjoy rumors is it sort of a free-for-all like anybody would really like it i feel like anyone would really like it i feel like i feel like it, there's jokes for everyone mm -hmm. like i there's some jokes that i personally don't understand mm -hmm. but i know other people understand them in the cast uh-huh but yeah like it's just so like everything's just all over the place okay and is it like family friendly like can you bring your little brother to the show or is I, it more of a like 18 plus uh i would probably <laughs> say i wouldn't bring like anyone super young because there are a couple curse words in it Ooh, scandal yes it's very scandalous but like there's no content there's not explicit content mm -hmm. it's just just some words aren't kid friendly yeah mm -hmm. okay it makes sense so you were telling me that as the president and as an e-board member you help decide what show is going to be uh, in which semester how did act decide on rumors um well we talked about rumors actually last year to do it in the spring mm -hmm. but we decided not to do it because we try to keep it like a relatively small cast and rumors is actually 10 people okay which is a lot for like a little theater show mm -hmm. but this year we decided that we haven't done like a slapstick comedy in a while so we might as well give it a try and it was like a favorite last year so we're like let's go for it and it seems to be working out really well for us that's awesome so do you do like a poll with everybody else to pick like the top five and then you guys pick or so it's it like i swear like sometimes it seems more complicated than it is okay but i think we might have it down to a science now so we have like a private facebook page with all of our members mm -hmm. and we're like hey comment plays that you want to do for the fall and so we get like a list of plays and then the e-board like we'll all like research like little details and like find the plot and if like we don't think we'll like it we nix it to like seven okay and then each of us we get a our own show to research and like we watch it or read it and then like figure out like costumes and rights and like then we all post on our page like what we need okay. and then from there we rank them mm -hmm. like one to seven. Oh wow and then we take off the bottom four mm -hmm. and then we re-rank like the top three and we talk about the pros and the cons and then the one the majority vote for the show is what we do that sounds like very intense but also like really I don't know. It sounds like you have it down, like you were saying. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. So who does the costumes? Like, you're talking about costumes. Is that is everything sort of in the club, like uh, stage production and we, lighting and all that sort of stuff? We find every, we find everything ourselves. Uh -huh. for, for rumors, luckily, like, we didn't have to buy that much costume stuff because it is just formal attire. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to find a crazy dress because there's, like, a line about a specific dress I wear. Okay. So I had to find that. But for smaller shows, it's not really that difficult because, like I said, we try not to go more than, like, 10. Mm -hmm. And this is a lot for us. But for our musical, we have a costume coordinator. Ooh. Yeah, it's so, so official. <laughs> <laughs> and they, like, try to find costumes and they help everyone out. And, like, like last year we did Grease and, like, mm -hmm. we would go to the costume coordinator. Like, I was Frenchie in Grease. So, like, I would go and be like, hey, do you think Frenchie would wear this? Mm -hmm. And then 
if she said yeah i would buy it and then if not i just would look for something else Mm -hmm. and then for the ensemble they try to help the ensemble more because the ensemble it's like kind of tricky because you could either dress one way or dress another and like you find your specific style Mm -hmm. so yeah that's awesome um so did you as the president you also had to audition because you said you're in the show what uh can you tell me about the audition process um auditions never are fun i hate auditioning it's so stressful even though like you are always auditioning for your friends Mm -hmm. it's like so scary but for rumors we had to audition with like a minute minute and a half monologue okay and then we had to do cold reach which is basically like you were given the script and you get like a second to look at it and then you are reading in character Mm -hmm. okay and then who how does casting work like are you part of casting or no a lot of people think like a lot of people will think like that the e-board has to do with casting Mm -hmm. but it's just solely our directors it's normally a a director and assistant director okay yeah and do you audition to be a director you apply so like we have like apply (laughs) yes and we're we're very official um but yeah we have applications we have applications for directing musical direct like yeah, music directing, mm-hmm. um, costume coordinator, and choreographer, and stage manager. That's awesome. That's everything you can apply for. Okay. And you have to be a member of the club to apply for that? Yes. Okay. And do you have to be a member to audition? No. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So it's open to everybody in the campus audience. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So I think it's time for us to take a break, and we'll be right back with Corinne Calderback. <laughs> going to be a star on Saturday Night Live. I'm going to be a pediatric nurse. I'm going to write the next great American novel. I'm going to pursue my love of art and study at Wash U in St. Louis. But then, meningitis B struck. Our dreams never did come true. We all had the meningitis vaccine that was available at the time, and that helped protect us against four of the most common groups of meningitis here in the U.S., ACW and Y. But at that time, there was no vaccine in the U.S. for meningitis B, so we didn't have the chance to be protected against it. But there's good news. Today, there is a vaccine available to help protect against meningitis B. Ask your doctor about it. Because 16 to 23-year-olds have an increased risk because of how we socialize. For example, at crowded concerts or at parties. Where we can share a drink. Or a kiss. Basically, we share saliva. Know that when meningitis strikes, it can happen fast. Meningitis can lead to death, sometimes within 24 hours of being perfectly healthy. I can't imagine thinking it's okay to knowingly help protect myself against only four of the five vaccine-preventable groups of meningitis. That is not okay. Help make your dreams come true. Get vaccinated with both vaccines, the one for ACW and Y, plus a separate shot for men B. Do it because you can. This is Quinn Flory here with your forecast for Quitstown. On Monday, there is a chance of showers throughout the day, so be sure to have your umbrella with you if you don't like getting wet. There will be a high of 65 degrees and a low of 58 degrees. And on Tuesday, it will be cloudy for most in the morning, then clear up around 12 p.m. However, there will still be clouds throughout most of the day and into the night. There will be a high of 78 degrees and a low of 65 degrees. And there is your weather forecast. Email any suggestions to KUR at kutztown.edu. Complaints, concerns, questions, whatever you may be thinking at the time, it's KUR at kutztown.edu. You're listening to the radio voice of Kutztown University, KUR. This is Emmy Nose. My name is Emma Linen. In the studio with me today is Corinne Calderback. She's a communication studies major at Kutztown, and she's also the president of ACT, Actors Creating Theater. So before the break, we were talking about Rumors, which is Act's upcoming show. It's this weekend, correct? Yes. Um, So it's in the Nathan Schaefer Auditorium, and admission is $8. Yes, it's in the Little Theater, so it's downstairs. It's below the main auditorium. Okay, that's awesome. So we were talking a little bit about auditions right before the break. I'm looking forward to next semester. 
you guys are doing a musical, Mamma Mia. Yes. And audition prep starts this week on Wednesday, correct? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so Mamma Mia is a pretty well-known musical at this point. Uh, why did ACT decide to take on this production? So the rights, like, literally just came out for this, like, I think it was, like, rumored that it was coming out, like, last year. Mm-hmm. And as soon as it, like, me and <laughs> the treasurer of ACT, Michaela, we're very good friends. We were talking, we are like, we need, we, like, we need to figure out, like, how to do it. And, like, it was all kind of just, like, a joke. We're like, we love Mamma Mia. Mm-hmm. But then, so, like, how I talked about, like, the board deciding, it was yes. kind of just, like, unanimous we're all just like yes like (laughs) this is what we have to do like we went through the whole process of like researching everything but we're like yes Mm -hmm. (laughs) do you remember what the other top contenders were yes it was mamma mia company by steven sondheim the adams family Ooh, yeah Uh, see when i was in drama club many eons ago (laughs) we went to see um, the Adams Family, and we did a class with one of their dancers. Ooh, it was a lot of fun. That's but so that's fun. I don't I don't think I've seen it as a like college musical though. No, that's I've I've wild. only seen it as a high school show. Oh, yeah, fancy. I saw it at a high school. Okay, but. so but Mamma Mia won out. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, how can the campus community get involved? Um, so there's a couple ways to get involved. There's obviously auditioning Mm -hmm. which is starts wednesday like you said we have a learn the dance starting at six o'clock in lc 123 which is like you just learn the dance for auditions it's like a minute long if that um and then you'll perform that at auditions and then next week for auditions if you're auditioning for a male role it's on tuesday from six or six thirty to nine uh Wow. That's okay. That's I'm a okay. bad president. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's either 6 to 6.30 to 9 at, in the Little Theater, and then female roles are the same time on Wednesday. Okay. And do you dance alone, or do you dance with oh, a group? No. You dance with, like, four people. Okay. Like, four or five, depending on how many show up. But you mm-hmm. do sing alone. Okay. Yeah, you have to have two contrasting songs to audition. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And is it acapella? It can be. Okay. I've done acapella auditions. Or you could have a YouTube karaoke track. Ooh, karaoke. Yeah. So would you recommend, this is something that I've always heard differing views on. Would you recommend somebody bring a song from Mamma Mia to sing? Or is that like a no-no? If like professionally speaking, it's always a Mm no-no. But we're not Broadway or like regional theater. It's not an immediate like. Yeah, I (laughs) I don't like to. Just because I'm like, that's a lot of pressure. Yes, honestly. exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Like, I was nervous I'd mess up, and then they're uh-huh. like, "Oh, she's definitely like not good for that." <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, is it only singing parts in this musical, or are there gonna be some parts that you know you just sort of sing in a group? Yeah, you can just be in the ensemble. Okay. Um, you can specifically say like, "I don't. I'm not really want to be a featured soloist," mm-hmm. or you could like audition for a featured soloist, but. Being in the ensemble is so much fun. Um, So we were talking about auditions. We are talking about what people should prepare for the auditions. Are there going to be, like, cold reads or? Yes, yes, thank you. There will be cold reads for Mamma Mia. Awesome. And then, so if you're not an actor, you don't want to be, you know, the front person. You don't want to be the the back person. What else can you do to uh, still be involved with Mamma Mia? Um, There's crew, which is stage crew. Okay. Um, They move sets around. There's actually a lot that stage crew can do. I was on stage crew my freshman year when ACT did Spring Awakening. And I was, quote unquote, a personal assistant to the girl who played Venla. Mm -hmm. And so fun fact, like (laughs) like I was saying, I was stalking you earlier, uh, you know, to get ready for our interview. (laughs) And I was in high school drama club with her. With Erica? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Small world. Yeah, that is a small world. <laughs> so I was her personal assistant, so to say, which is basically if, like, like I just helped her make sure that her hair was good, mm-hmm. like, her costumes were all set. I would help, like, if she had a quick change, I would help her quickly change. So that's another thing you can do. That's awesome. Um, or there's, like, lights and sound. We are always looking for that. We're always just looking for crew people. We're mm-hmm. looking for so many people, but crew people <laughs> is something that, like, is so hard to come across. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. And then do you know what dates Mama Bia is going to be in the spring? Yes, it's going to be Valentine's Day weekend. So bring a (laughs) date. Yeah, it's February 14th and February 15th. Awesome. Okay. And 
So we were talking earlier a little bit about uh, just the meetings in general, mm -hmm. and tonight is one of the meetings. Can you remind us again, like what you guys are doing tonight? Tonight we are doing a game night. Awesome. So you can bring a board game, card game, video game, anything. <laughs> and what time is that and where? Seven o'clock in the Alumni Auditorium. Awesome. Okay, so are there any other exciting events that ACT is involved in besides rumors and the auditions coming up? I think right now that's it. Okay. Yeah. That, I mean, that's great. Um, and you said last week you guys had the... Uh, um, I'm losing my open mic here. night. Yes, yeah. open mic night, and then you're doing a Halloween one. Yes. Uh, do you know which date of the month? It is the last Monday in October, okay. which okay. is the 28th. That's the, awesome. Yeah. And then, um, so what kind of, you know, you're saying is a theme? Like, are there Halloween musicals people are going to be performing, or I think this year Beetlejuice, Ooh. which is I'm actually going to see that this Sunday. Okay. Like side note, and I'm super excited for it. <laughs> I just need to throw that out there. <laughs> but yeah, Beetlejuice, it'll probably be um, awesome. Adam's Family. Go Definitely. Mm, yeah. Oh my goodness. Mean Girls, the musical, has some Halloween songs. So. Okay. Is it strictly Halloween or you can kind of oh, bring you what could, you want? You could do whatever just, you like, want. Just like come dressed up in oh, a costume. Oh yeah. We also do like some like costume prizes, like scariest, okay. best. Like, awesome. So much fun. That's so great. So we're um, coming into like week six of the mm -hmm. semester. Are there any top tips you'd like to share with our campus audience? Ooh, I always say, oh my gosh, that's a way to put me on the spot. <laughs> you on the spot right now. <laughs> um, just to get enough sleep. Awesome. Because I don't. I relate. <laughs> I relate on a personal level. I don't get enough sleep and then I get sick. Okay. So stay, <laughs> stay sleeping. <laughs> All right. And then if people want to get in touch with ACT, how can they do that? Um, you can email us at actors creating theater at gmail.com mm -hmm. or we have we're act ku on all social media awesome and then remind us one more time rumors is this weekend saturday and sunday yes at seven and at 12 well yeah seven o'clock on friday and saturday night and then 12 o'clock on saturday afternoon oh wow i was totally wrong sorry about that <laughs> no you're good all righty well Thank you so much for listening to Emmy Knows. I'm your host, Emmeline Nolan, and in the studio today is Corinne Calderbach. Thank you so much to Mike for producing and to everyone listening. I'll see you next week.